forests are not the property of any individual, government or any community. It's for all. That's what about whose forest? Forest is a large area thickly covered with different varieties of trees and plants. It also includes different animals, insects and birds living there. There exists a web of relationships between plants, trees and animals in a forest. They depend on each other for food, security and habitat. Forest cover areas in India. The places with very thick forest and less thick cover of forest are marked with separate color shades. The areas with very thick forest are marked with dark green and those with less thick forest are marked with light green color. Forest is called the collective bank. Forest is the source of many things. We use forest as our needs. We can get fruit, food, wood, paper and medicines. Forest is a shelter of many animals, medicinal plants and various plants etc. We can get many things, many facilities in a collective way from the forest. Forest also provides us a good eco-balanced environment to give rainfall. Forests are also sources of many things. On this map of India you can see the location of Charkhand. Adivasis of Charkhand. People living in forests from a long time are called Adivasis. They look after the forests. They take material from the forest only as much as they need. They don't use up all the wealth. Adivasis live a simple life. They wear simple clothes. During the traditional festivals, they wear costumes made of leaves and flowers that depend on forest products for the livelihood. Forest dwellers have their own distinct culture which is altogether different than their mainstream culture. They collect firewood from forests and take their cattle into forest for grazing. They make useful articles from leaves, wood and bamboo. They have very good knowledge of medicinal herbs. Suryamani's story is a true story. Suryamani is a girl star. Suryamani loves the forest since she was a child. She would not take the direct road to school but would choose the path through the forest. Suryamani's father had a small field. Her family used to collect leaves and herbs from the forest and sell these in the bazaar. Her mother would weave baskets from bamboo or make leaf plates out of the fallen leaves. But now no one can pick up a single leaf from the forest. Chacha tried hard and got admission for Suryamani in the school in Bishanpur. Here they would not have to pay for the fees, uniforms and books. Suryamani would have to stay there and study. Suryamani was filled with joy on seeing the school at Bishanpur. The school was near a thick forest. Suryamani studied hard and passed her BA after getting a scholarship. She was the first girl in the village to do this. While she was in college, she met Vasavi Didi, a journalist. Suryamani soon joined her to work for the Jharkhand Jungle Pachau Andolan, movement to save the forest of Jharkhand. This work took Suryamani to far off towns and cities. She also tried to fight for the rights of the village people. Her childhood friend Vijoy helped her in this work. With the help of her childhood friend and now husband Vijoy, she started to fight for the rights of her Kuduk community people. Suryamani's Torang 
Suramani was 21 years old when she opened a center with the help of Vasavi Didi. She is invited even to other countries to share her experiences. People of her area are also raising the voice for a new forest law. Right to Forest Act 2007 People who have been living in the forest for at least 25 years have a right over the forest land and what is grown on it. They should not be removed from the forest. The work of protecting the forest should be done by the Gram Sabha. Suryamani says, If the forests are not there, we too will not remain. Forests are essential for us. They help in maintaining the balance in the environment. Green plants absorb harmful gases and release oxygen. Forests provide wood, herbs, many raw materials for us. Many tribal people depend on forests for the livelihood. Hence, Suryamani is right in her statement. Thank you.